New at six, the man charged in a deadly hit and run in Oakland Park earlier this year is back in court right now for a bond reduction hearing. The victim's family is there also. Let's get right out to CBS 4's Ted Scouten live in Fort Lauderdale. Ted? Elliot, that hearing ended just a little while ago. The suspect in this case is being held on a million dollars bond. He's hoping to get that reduced. Scott Roman was in court hoping to get out of jail without having to put up a million dollars worth of collateral. He's accused of a hit and run accident that killed Joseph Deverson in May of this year. It happened in Oakland Park. Roman was arrested three months after. Investigators were led to him by a valet at his million dollar condo who noticed that his car and uh, said that Roman told him that he hit something. Prosecutors were implying that he's a flight risk after a recent trip to Cambodia and supposedly a request to liquidate assets while he was there. Also, they point out that his husband, the man he's been with for 22 years, refuses to use their condo as collateral. He's very, very nervous and under, you know, a serious amount of undue influence from, from surrounding neighbors. Um, that have prejudged me on this investigation. And Roman says that his husband is ill and suffers from dementia. He claims that the night Deverson was hit, he was passed out drunk in the back of a car, letting a stranger drive him home. Investigators and prosecutors have not been able to corroborate all that. Meanwhile, the hearing again has wrapped up. They'll be back here again tomorrow at 3.30. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News. Ted,